everybody hope you're really enjoying your day today and for today's message I'm going to be channeling the divine feminine energies and without any further ado we can jump straight to the message with the first card I am sorry I haven't told you that I love you my beloved divine masculine I'm really sorry that I feel completely inhibited and completely unable to speak my truth when you gave me an opening to do so. I had no idea what to say. Every other relationship, if I was upfront about my feelings with anyone that I had feelings for, that would be their cue to never see them again. I'm understanding now that the twin flame dynamic is the absolute complete opposite of absolutely every other relationship. It's total, totally the opposite of any soulmate connection. And we connect by speaking our truth to each other. So I really do choose to be up front with you and speak my truth to you. Winter. It may feel like things are moving a little bit slowly at the moment. Like how things somehow seem frozen in time. You know, themes carrying through from the last message that this is a time when patience is required because there really is so much more going on behind the scenes than both of us realise. You are the oracle. You are the sage. You are the seer. You, you already know all the answers. You already have all the answers that you require within you. It's just a question of coming into deeper peace, greater peace, so you can really tune in to your intuition, which I, which I know that's what you're doing right now. It's safe to do that. It's safe to go deeper. It's safe to really feel into what your heart is telling you. Reflections, because all I can do is mirror, mirror, mirror. So when you love yourself, I can love you. Once all these parts of you are really fully loved through, only then can I step into love with you and vice versa. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of sadness here. Maybe it's sadness because I felt unable to express my feelings to you before because I may have had a lot of blocks and a lot of inhibitions when it came to uh, expressing my feelings. That may have been an issue I've had for a very long time. But I'm working through that. I'm healing through that now. Because I'm coming to my inner strength, open-mindedness and determination to overcome whatever difficulties may arise. The, uh, I'm really stepping into my mind's penetrating power in the depths of my psyche. Cutting through self-deception or mistaken ideas about how I ought to think and feel. Quietly listening to the inner voice of my intuition reveals my own truths, insecurities, fears, hopes and desires. By boldly facing my concerns and joining knowledge with faith in my future, I'm finding the strength to overcome my challenges. 
I'm looking for more ways to carry out self-healing or deepen the current ways of self-healing to reduce stress and anxiety. Criticism and blame towards one another or, other, or others don't help anything, but they do interfere with finding happiness. I'm noticing when and how I'm judging and blaming, which we often do almost automatically. And by doing that, I'm taking the first steps towards letting go of doing so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't told you that I love you and I absolutely fucking love you. Yeah, I'm telling you now, I'm being up front with you now. I am stepping forward in my true authentic self. I'm showing my entire authentic true self for you to see. I'm not judging any parts of myself as less worthy than others. Because they're all equally worthy. I don't know you love every part of me equally just like I love every part of you. So this is not the time to hide any part of myself from you. The Divine Masculine is looking into the light. You're looking into my light. You've stepped into my light. So we're losing any old feelings of feeling unworthy of being in the light. That's my heart light you're staring straight into and it's my heart light that's guiding you home. A sacred gift is coming to you and that sacred gift is love, unconditional love. Whatever's happening, <clears throat> whatever ha has happened between us, please know that ab with absolutely everything that I've said or done, I was in truth totally loving you in exactly the way that you were needing to be loved. Even if it felt uncomfortable, even if it was triggering, because it was that love that triggering love that I was giving you that brings up, brought up all these old wounds to the surface so they could be healed, so they could be cleared, so they could be acknowledged, so they could be worked through, so they could be released. That's it. So please understand that's what I was doing. Understand that I was loving you all the way through and from beginning to end and everything in between. Because you've been in my dreams. You're the man of my dreams. And no other. I thank you for showing up to me there and communicating what you need to communicate to me in the dream state. And even if, I've, if it's just there where I'm telling you how much I love you at the moment, that's a safe place in which I can truly express myself to you. If that's the only place we have to communicate, then that's okay. Once we've mastered the internal communication, it will resume on the outside. Don't you worry about that. <clears throat> you can heal me with your love. On our bodies and soul to merge into one <clears throat> during lovemaking. Well, first of all, although we might have the sensations of energies merging, in actual truth there is no merge because we're already one. We already we always have been one. We always will be one. But we are healing each other with our love, just as we're healing ourselves with our love, because. As you love yourself, that's me loving you. And as you love yourself, that's you loving me. 
<clears throat> settling. So, you know, we've both got a shared misaligned belief here where we feel fundamentally unlovable. We feel that we're not capable of being loved. So we settle. We play safe. We go, we aim low for, out of fear of being abandoned. So I'm choosing to love you right here in this place where you do feel unloved, where you do feel abandoned. And that will inspire you to love yourself in this place. So take a stand, take a stand for love. Take a stand for yourself. Take a stand for our union. And really be inspired into fully loving yourself all the way through, just as much as I love you all the way through. Do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for the divine. We got this. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to end this message here. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.